Uh, what is the number one waste of time? In your 20s, what's the number one waste of time? Answers. Facebook. Facebook. That's pretty good. What number one waste of time? TV. It's a good one. Generally a waste of time. Sleep too much, right? Yeah, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> um, those are good things. Number one waste of time is staying in a bad relationship. You could just ingrain that in your brain. You will save yourself so much time, energy, effort. Um, I see my friends in bad, I've seen them in bad relationships. And you all know somebody's been in bad relationships. You may have grown up in a home that was a bad relationship. And what is the old saying? Is that every kid would rather be from a broken home than live in one? It's kind of the same way. Why do you want to stick around in a broken relationship that doesn't work? Oh, well, you know, she moved in to help me pay the mortgage payment. She moved in to help me pay the rent. You know, it's cheaper to... Then the things go sour, and you're now stuck with this person. So here's the signs. I'm going to hit a bullet point that we'll do a Q&A. Um, red flags in a relationship. I've got a lot of this stuff in my blog. This is my... And, in my blog archives, you can go back. But if you see yourself in this anytime, or you see friends say, man, wake up, these are red flags. Um, arguments, poor communication, or lying of any kind. Uh, one of my early business partners, I used to say this with clients. You get a difficult client right out of the gate, and you're like, oh. And we would always say, if this is the honeymoon, uh, I can't wait to see how the marriage is going to be. So if it's really bad in the first stages, in the first few months, um, <clears throat> personal experience, you can have a relationship with a woman for two or three years and never have an argument. There are women out there like that. So don't think, well, we have a healthy debate about things. No, not really. Okay, so arguments, poor communication, lying, bad. Jealousy or suspicion. If she doesn't let you have boys' night out, if she just tries to keep you from your friends, if you say, hey, Friday night, boys' night out, I'm going with my friends, we're going to hang out, we're going to talk trash, solve the world's problems, we're going to get drunk and flirt with girls. If, seriously, you may not say we get drunk and flirt with girls. You say, we, yeah, we're going to drink. We're going to drink some Irish whiskey. We're going to drink some Jack. There's just a couple guys who've seen me on that downtown. Um, maybe not say, hey, I'm going to flirt with girls, but they know. They know you're going to hang out with your friends. If they're single friends, they know what's going to happen. It's implicit. They'll accept it. If it's a good woman, she'll accept it. If she's like jealous and doesn't want you going out with your buddies or tries to keep you to herself, huge red flag. It's because it's only going to get worse. Someday we decide to get married and have kids with her. You want to go play golf on Saturday with your buddies? Guess what? Huh, there you're not. She'll say, I worked hard all week. Here's the kid. Your turn. I'm going to go have breakfast with my girlfriends, she'll say. And you're like, what? You know, I'm going to go to the YMCA and take a long run and work out. You, you stay with the kids. But it's got my friends. No, uh, you set the stage for it.